actually at a uh, sub-professional level. This is the most patient player that I've ever met. Yeah, he's consistent, he's patient. But he best just He's like a white sun. He is. He's a white sun. All right, here we go. So I don't know, his hand warmers maybe? No, I think they're going. All right, pool, other pools are being announced here. And, uh, dang. Okay, so pool's being called out, and match underway. Nothing's really happened yet. And I'm, I'm kind of wondering about, uh, so I thought Zbet was kind of maining Falco right now. Do you think he's just more comfortable with this matchup? Yeah, he goes in between, and I think this matchup, obviously, you gotta go Fox. You gotta go Fox for this. I, I don't know, though. I think. Well, so the the problem with uh, with Zebat here is that he's he's gonna have trouble hitting lasers, especially if he were Falco. You just crouch under him, right? Yeah, there's a lot of stuff you can do. But in this matchup, okay. if he can pin the Puff's landing spot, he can grab him. But Rayquaza, he's not really trying to combo. He's just chipping away, doing some damage here and there, running away a lot, making sure that he doesn't take as much damage. That's going to really be beneficial to him in the long run. Tanking stocks and just making the game last as long and making it as frustrating as possible. Yeah. I mean, if I, you can wrap up Rayquaza's play in a nutshell, it's just wait. Just wait. Oh, I don't know. He didn't wait long enough. <laughs> yeah, he's he's he'll get in your head, you know? Oh, 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 I thought I was seeing a back air there. He didn't do it. That patience, he will opt not to go for the back air that would kill if there's like a slight risk that Fox will come in and sneak in and attack. Could be smart, could be bad. Oh, oh, a little impatience there shown by Zbat trying to run off the edge a little bit. Oh, oh, not again. Okay, safe, get out of there for a second. Yeah. He's not scared to play near the ledge. No, he's not. He's right in the face of, of uh, Ray here. This is crazy. Oh, so what do you do? What do you do? She's gonna land on the ledge. Uh oh, now she. Okay, that's that's good. That's good. Yeah. A read action. That that might be a rest. Yeah. You gotta watch out for those up airs. So my problem with playing against Puff is that I would never feel like I'm ready to di fast enough. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was get caught with that up throw up air if I'm gonna or up throw if sleep. <laughs> I'll throw up till rest, you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah, she doesn't have the best Oh, he's, he's going in for that. Yeah, Breen's starting to get stuff now. Yeah, he's not nervous. Sort of found the box goes It's a scary matchup. The box group. It is. I, I feel like most matchups against Jigglypuff are, you know, a lot of times, and, and considering that I don't have a lot of Jigglypuff players around me, I'm kind of unfamiliar with the matchup, and I, I get really nervous against Jigglypuff. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Doc's okay in first buff, isn't she? He, yeah, it's it's not it's not bad. I, actually, I feel like it's pretty close to even. It might be a little bit actually Doc's favor. One of the very few. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of weird. I actually like when people play Fox. We'll, we'll see. We'll see about you. We'll see what happens there. And I think Braden might have been dead there anyway, but that's that's okay. Last stock, last stock shenanigans going on. Braden started off slow, but he started to get stuff going towards the middle. So why did, why did he lose here? What's he need? What level would be good for him? Small level, obviously, but if you watch me play by the ledge a lot, and well, oh, no, I don't agree. I don't, I don't, I agree, don't agree with this. Oh, I don't agree with this. I don't agree with this. You gotta trust your instincts. Um, trust your instincts. It's up. Well, sometimes it's up to you know that players are just, just this comfortable on this stage, and that's probably what Brayden's thinking right here. Yep. I didn't see a lot of up throws. Last game, like, oh, that was yeah. a nice sneaking around the uh, forward. Fox is definitely having a hard time getting grabs. Dash dancing. Look, looks for an opening. Oh, there. Okay, so he ran too far left for that one. He actually had it. He's getting the lasers going. He's up in percent. Range quasi doesn't like that kind of stuff. He's Brayden's no. willing to play the game with him right now. This is interesting. Brayden's just gonna. He's just I gonna like sit it. back. That's okay. So. So what's going to happen here is that Ray's going to wait for a really long time until there's not a whole lot of time left on the clock. And he's going to try to like sneak in a hit. You know, <laughs> and that's what will happen if, if Brayden lets him wait. He just needs to get his percent up. His percent just beat him. That's going to cost him. He can do something. Thanks. Sorry. Yeah, I didn't update the score, but it is 1-0 Ray Plaza. There it is. Thanks. Nice. It's okay, dude. Yeah, 
Z-Bet is definitely in this, and he gets the up air. He gets it. Don't go about Fox. <laughs> uh, what's up, Roki? Join in the chat. Nice. Good to see some Michigan players coming onto the stream to support the uh, <laughs> support the noobs. <laughs> support the noobs. Support the unranked. Yeah, the unranked. <laughs> the foxes look oh, man. a lot more comfortable in this game. See, this is this is hard because it's like all neutral game. It's all neutral game. There's so little comboing in this kind of situation. Yeah. The blazers are gonna be pretty important for us to buff, I think. So, uh oh. Back to the ledge. Back to the ledge again. Oh, he gets the shine. Okay, it's not done yet. You need another one. He knows it. He knows it. Okay. All over the place. Oh, this is no. Oh no. Okay. That that can turn around so fast. Yeah. Getting greedy. Oh. So all those forward airs are invincible, aren't they? It looks like all those forward airs. I, I'm pretty sure, and then he can sweet spot that ledge from a little bit farther away than Fox can hit. He can actually like grab on before that shine hits a lot of the time. Uh oh, getting ledge hog. Yeah. This puff is pretty bad at planking, says Cal Kalamazoo. <laughs> I don't know. I uh, maybe in comparison to to some of the pro planky puffs, but. As far as Planky Puffs, I don't know anybody who's going to do it better than him here. Yeah, that's true. Oh, and that's... Oh, look at that bounce off of the bottom of Battlefield and back out. I wonder what that would have looked like if he had teched. <laughs> okay, so, oh, looking like he might accidentally, like, over B there for a second, facing away. Risky. He's got Fox under control. He, he's got him though. Yeah, he's just got to get right. his kill. He does. Now that Ray has the lead, he feels a lot more comfortable camping too. That's another thing. Yep. You want to give him the lead, and then he's going to camp. Or plank, whatever you would call it. That's going to be a back throw and a bear. Yep. Not out though. No, an up air or an up smash or a gimp here would be right back in the game. Oh, 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 not that way, not that gimp. That's the wrong that gimp. Hurts. That's, that hurts. That's the wrong player again. All right, well. He was playing good at the beginning. Puff. Yeah. Kind of out. Attrition is mine.